going on? This is Cooper with the Front Row Report. Here with Mr. Postulus Maximus. Hey. What's going on, man? Hey, what, are you, what are you doing here? I'm here to see you. Oh, okay. I'm here to see you. I tried to open that beer. You wouldn't let me. No, no, no. I can't accept help from anybody. You have too much pride for that. Understood. Uh, first off, welcome to Chicago, murder capital of the country. You guys number one now? You fucking right we are. Oh, shit. Richmond was number three for a little while. Well, I mean, I figured it's... We're losing out. Detroit and Chicago, man, are hard cities to beat. I figure it's somewhat ironic. You guys love to kill people. Here we are. I, I try my best, but I end up being on parole most of the time, so... That it, it eats up a lot of my killing time. Fucking man, it's just all over you, ain't he? All over me. They don't like. They don't like that shit. They don't like that shit when you kill taxpayers. Fuck them, I guess. Well, Not I mean, it's what you do after you kill them. Well, get it before it's get it before it's cold, kids. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Get it before it's cold. Uh, so first things first. Thirty years of domination. How the fuck does that happen to a band like Guar? Well, I think everybody, there's just so many of us that it's when you fight with one person, you just move on and you make another friend temporarily. <laughs> and then you move on and you move on and you move on. At the end of the day, we all fight and hate each other. But when your common goal is to just wipe humans off the face of the earth, we can, we can get along just to make sure that gets taken care of. Well, of course. I mean, when, like, I, like you said, when it's your goal, let's, let's fucking party. We just want to make records and kill fucking people. And do drugs. What's the problem? Hey, no nope. parole officer. Ain't hey, no hey. problem. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you get free drugs for 30 years, a lot of people aren't going to give that up. No shit. Uh, so, new record. I hear Working on it. I hear it's in the can. It's not in the can. Well, I mean, I'm not talking about the garbage can. I mean, uh, well, I mean, you can't fit a whole 45 in a can. <laughs> I've tried. You can break it up in pieces, but then it's a it's a bitch for the fucking vinyl press to put all that shit back together. That's why they make the big bucks, right? Well, I guess you could put a thumb drive in a can. Okay. We'll do that. That's now great. The record's going to be on a thumb drive. <laughs> I hope you're happy. This guy invented it. Sorry. Uh, no CDs. No records. Thumb drives. Shaped like fucking mushrooms. Oh. A little Mario character on top. Ooh. That's the record. That's the record. You don't listen to it. You just look at it. It's a collector's item. So for that crowd out there that hasn't seen you yet, what can they expect? They expect to go home dead. You expect to go home looking like a tampon. Oh. A used one. You can expect to make love to the band after the show. Mm. You know, they'll make love to your ears, face. I've been starting out a couple, couple shows with... A nice little dubstep number. Who? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. I don't play that shit. You know what I'm talking about. Whose idea was that? I don't know. There's just this dude from space, Olderus, and he's trying to reinvent Guar, but he's not part of Guar. So I don't know. He thinks all the kids are into dubstep and bullshit. He's basically just trying to take this whole thing away. And we kill him and run him off every night, but every day he just comes back, and we have to relive this whole thing over and over and over again. He just never is gonna go away, is he? No, but I mean, at least... And that's okay. I, I'll, I mean, killing a reanimated person, it's the same amount of pleasure you get from killing a regular mortal person, you know, so... You, just, you jump at the chance. Yeah. So, within the last couple years, uh, there, was a, there was a petition about getting you guys, uh, Guar, to play at the halftime at the Super Bowl. They couldn't get the insurance. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, they don't want us to do that. I was going to say, you know, I mean, what, you got almost 50,000 signatures. What the fuck I'm does, does somebody have to do? I mean, they just announced Metallica is going to play a pre. Well, I'm just happy we had at least one fan dedicated enough to sign 49,000 times. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, I bet their hands hurt. Yeah, they should. Their they hands should. hurt. But I mean... Fuck it, we'll do that shit. It's gonna be better than Red Hot Chili Peppers Unplugged or Bruno Mars or something. Fuck that. Nobody, you know. Nobody's got time for that. Do you? I don't. No. I say no. we just kill them. They, yeah, yeah. why not? Fuck them. So you guys just released uh, another song that you guys did at the AV Club. <laughs> Shebop. Yeah. Don't, man, you don't wanna inhale that shit. You will, that will fuck your world up. That's not good for anybody. <laughs> So, uh, I guess my couple questions is, one, what song would you like to play on that? And number two, why do they keep giving you these horrible songs? I mean, is it 
are, are, do they question the talent? No, I think. I mean, I think they have a good idea that we can ruin every song. We can either ruin it or make it the best song ever. Which, it, of course, with Shebop, now Shebop is the best song ever. I, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's going gold well, again. And you guys it's, went right into Blitzkrieg Bop. It's number one on the internet AV Club charts. So out of all the AV songs we've done, it's number one. Man, whatever. Number one. It's. I think it's number one. It's number one. Besides our record that hasn't come out yet, that's number one already. But that's gonna be in a, thumb drive, in so. a parallel universe in the future. We've already climbed to the top of the charts. Once again, you love to kill people. Now, if you had a choice, who would you kill first, Miley Cyrus or Taylor Swift? Miley, Miley first. Why? Miley first. Because of her big tongue. Yeah, because she gives more stupid looks. You know, like. I don't know. Miley gives stupid looks, but Taylor Swift writes stupid songs. Yeah. So, you know, I did an interview uh, with your buddies from a band called Ghoul. If but they they claim that they're friends of mine. Like well, I like I they, associate they, with those. I guess what they did was bag they heads. that they were lucky enough for you to not fucking kill them. Well, I mean, they're not too bad. I mean, they're not from space or anything. They're from Creepsylvania. Right. I like those kids. They're good right. kids. You know, they they could. They could dice up a hooker as fast as anybody. Well, you know, basically what they said was they were going to make a lingual burrito out of Miley Cyrus's tongue. Would you take a bite out of that burrito? Of course I would. Course. I would masturbate with that Dorito. There it is. Folks. Doritos or burritos? Yes. It's like a mold, a melding of <laughs> biscuits and cheese and rhubarb. You never seen American Hardcore, did you? Never mind. Yes, I did. Um, but not my I think I gotta go do a fucking We're rock and roll here. show. Sorry for holding you up. Duh. Um, give them hell. It's all right. And, uh, uh, I'll give them nothing. I'll give them nothing because that's what they paid for. They fucking like it. They will like it. Okay.